this is John Cavalli and I'm trying something I've never tried before. For those of you that are watching, I am traveling in a car and I'm going to try and record uh, this um, our March review. And so I'm going to move over for those of you that are looking at the video over to the desktop, to the laptop of the actual post. And we will start. So March... And I'm going to keep this one short because we just did the newsletter, and I know that's a lot for everybody to, to take down, but I did want to uh, go back over our financial planning tips. We had five tax saving ideas, and um, the ones that we did in February were the HSA. Those of you that are listening, I'm just rolling down the post here. Health Savings Account, I've got the link to the post here. The SEP, Simplified Employee Pension, the um, beefed up IRA for self-employed folks, and the pre-tax uh, deductible IRA. Those are reviews. The ones that we released in this month were maximizing the sales tax deduction. That's probably going to go away. I've got a few reminders here, bullets, four of them. Make sure you get the right amount uh, for your particular area as well. There are certain areas that have different levels of sales tax, so make sure you get the appropriate one. Then the other is the medical expense deduction. Cannot emphasize this publication 502 enough. This publication 502 gives hundreds of hundreds of uh, medical reminders and expenses that you might not have had a that you might not think is an expense um, so the key is I'm just trying to have everybody I'm trying to throw out nuggets to remind everybody of your situation all right moving on down those that are listening I am going back to the capital markets comments and literally I just updated the chart I hardly even changed the words this the capital markets earnings are good uh, the consumer is good. Interest rates are creeping up a little bit. They're, they're raising rates. That's a little bit of a headwind. The bottom line is we still think we're just ahead of each other, a, a little ahead of ourselves. I posted an updated par chart updated chart that shows our trend line, and I make a little comment on this this chart that there's a, what's called the 200-day moving average, those that believe in the voodoo of, of um, um, basically I would call it momentum. Um, those sports fans, anybody that thinks momentum does not exist, if you watch a football game or baseball game or any other type of sports, you, you will believe. But I digress. Momentum. This is, is essentially um, what the capital markets get a gut level feeling and, and lean towards. Right now, at, at last check, we were up above our trend line. Now we're below our trend line. We're bouncing along this 200-day moving average. We're watching it. We don't make any drastic moves because of this, but we're watching it. So um, patience will be needed. All right. We'll see how this works. Hopefully it, it worked well with all of the technology pushing here. I'm, uh, of course, waiting for tennis to get out and um, in a remote location. Thank you. We will see you again at the end of April. Have a great day.